Ah, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Walter. And if you're not then, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about three things that you can do to maximize your chances of getting admitted into Microsoft's Explore program. Now, if you're watching this video and you know what Explore is, then awesome. It is a great program for freshmen and sophomores in college. And if you don't know what Explore is or you just found this looking for sweet internships, then I recommend you go check the link in my description about what Microsoft's Explore program is. In a nutshell, Microsoft's Explore internship is a chance for freshmen and sophomores in college to actually explore, like the name suggests, areas in software engineering and program management. And it's a very good place if you're just starting out, if you're just beginning to get into the software engineering field or you want to go into program management, or if you don't know what either of them are, it's a very good opportunity for you to actually just go in, check it out, and see if you like it. And if you don't, then that's awesome because this happens during the first two years of your college experience or rather college years and kind of gives you an indication of where to go from here for the next two years of college. And overall, it was a great program. I'm actually talking about it because I just did it this past summer and it was a great experience. Even though it was remote, the experience overall was very great and I found it very valuable. So I wanted to share that with you guys and I want to also just give back to those that really could benefit a lot from this program. And for me, this is by sharing information about my experience, what I've done. So today I'm gonna to be talking about three things that you can do to maximize your chances of getting into this program. And if these chances help you, please leave a like down below or just comment down below if this is the content that you guys want more information about. It's not so much about if you like it or not, just if it's helpful, I'd love to keep sharing it and hopefully make stuff that helps you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with tip number one, which is find a recruiter. Now, I didn't understand this at the time and in a way I still don't, but recruiters are so helpful in that they help you get your name seen or potentially get pushed into a pile where people that are reviewing applications can see your name. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I do know that recruiters are not scary as they seem. They're actually trying to help you get into these programs. They want to be able to recruit you and hopefully get you an internship offer. Now for Microsoft, I was really lucky and my friend actually connected me to a recruiter from our school who had ties with Microsoft and actually sent me her email. And from there, it kind of just took off. I had applied to Microsoft's Explore internship earlier in the year and by just telling the recruiter that I had already applied and that my application was already sent in, that process just accelerated my overall step into the internship program. And I actually ended up getting a phone call, a phone interview, phone screening, I guess, for the next week, believe it or not. And it was that quick. So I would really recommend you try to find a recruiter that is associated with your school or even on LinkedIn. If you can go into LinkedIn and look for a Microsoft recruiter that's around your area or that partners with certain colleges around your school's area or whatever, then I recommend you do that because it actually leverages your chances of getting in and it's really good. So tip number one is to find a recruiter if you can on LinkedIn or if not through your school. And I'm pretty sure here at Olin, we definitely do have that. But if not, then you can also, again, use LinkedIn. Super helpful tool. Now tip number two is a little scary for some people. Definitely was for me. But the thing I want to tell you is to practice your coding skills. Now, this may be very daunting if you've never really programmed before college. I didn't know anything about coding before college. I've never programmed before college. I didn't know what Python even was. And at the time I was a sophomore and I still wasn't feeling comfortable with programming in any sort of programming language. And that was kind of scary, but it's important for this internship that you feel comfortable or that at least you know certain things on how to approach certain questions for programming. Now, if you're scared, that's okay, but you have to start ASAP. You should definitely be practicing, watching videos, going in and finding resources to help you. Personally, I loved watching YouTube videos. I kind of just submerged myself in the software engineering world with videos, skits, comedy, like everything that needed to do with engineering or coding in this case. I was just kind of, I just pushed myself and sponged everything up, if that's a word. And that helped because I was getting familiar with terms, getting familiar with certain data structures and algorithms. And this was very important, especially since I didn't know anything. It kind of makes you almost 
just suck up everything that you hear and then you can kind of see where it applies to certain things. So I would recommend practicing on websites like LeetCode and HackerRank because these are very popular websites and platforms that people use to practice data structures and algorithms problems. And so if you don't know what data structures and algorithms are, then that's okay because I'm assuming you're either a freshman or a sophomore. And if you haven't taken the course yet, which it, it is a course um, if it's offered, but um, if you haven't taken the course yet, then I would highly recommend to not stress out. What you just have to do is to learn the overall topics, learn the concepts, and just try to get familiar with certain things because Microsoft knows that if you're a freshman or sophomore just getting into the industry or just getting into engineering, then you're probably not gonna be able to answer these really hard questions at this level. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, who knows? But you don't have to stress about this because all they're trying to see is if you know or can talk about certain things that are involved in data structures and algorithms. And you know, if you can answer them, it's fine, but if you can kind of just talk about them and say, you know, I know this part, not so much this other part, that's also very good too. So don't stress out, try to learn some stuff from DSA, but don't stress out about it. So, yeah. And that leads us on to our last tip, which is connect with an Explore alum. Now, this is weird because you may not know people that have done the Explore internship. And that's okay because, you know, if you just found this online or you were just browsing and you found this and, you know, no one really around you knows about it, then that's okay. I would recommend connecting with someone on LinkedIn. Just type in Microsoft Explore. Maybe some people are Explore interns or were Explore interns or incoming Explore interns. And you can just kind of ask them about how their process went, how certain questions were phrased, what did they practice on, what did they test. And if you don't have anyone that you can reach out to, that's not true because you're watching this video and I just finished my Microsoft Explore internship. So you can definitely go ahead and message me on LinkedIn or just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely get to it because I only have a certain amount of people here and I like talking and responding to comments. So if you need to, or if you want to, you can message me here on YouTube or on LinkedIn. I'll leave my LinkedIn down below. You can shoot, shoot me a message and say, hey, listen, I saw your video about the Microsoft Explore internship and I just wanted to hear a little bit more about this, this, or this. And I will answer you because I like talking to people. So make sure you connect with the Microsoft Explorer alum because this helped me so much. There was this one upperclassman at the time that really helped me out. He, he did the Microsoft Explorer internship, then he went off to software engineering internship. And I think now hopefully he has a return offer for a full-time position. And he answered all of my questions. He made me feel so reassured that I was going to make it. And believe it or not, I did. So. Shout out to you, Kong, if you're watching this because you really helped me out a lot. And to everyone else that has helped me out in terms of coding and stuff like that, Erica, Nathan, I don't know if you watch my videos, but shout out to you guys too. But I'm really positive that because I reached out to someone who had done the program already, I kind of had an insider access in a way, and I knew what was going to be asked or I knew certain questions that might be asked. So please don't feel like you're interrupting anyone. Make sure you get what you need, all right? Be assertive and you got this. You got this. Like I said, I have never done a SWE internship before and so all of this was new. And hey, that might not be you, but at least you guys got this video or just message me on LinkedIn, okay? Not a problem. I'm more than happy to answer your questions and help you try to maximize again your chances to getting into Microsoft Explorer because I really think it's a great program. And that is it. Wow, okay, so this was three reasons how you can maximize your chances of getting into Microsoft's Explore internship. Uh, you know, these are really quick, hopefully, um, and I definitely did more things. If you guys wanna see that video, or you guys wanna hear what I personally did for certain phases, whether that be the phone screen, the actual technical interviews, or just overall the whole process, please leave a comment down below and like this video so I know that you guys are engaged with this type of content because, I mean, I might do it one way or another, but if you guys need it right now, especially since most of you guys are applying, uh, since it is like September, October area to these internships, then I would love to get this content out for you as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just really excited to kind of be giving back and sharing my experience because I think it's so valuable. I think anyone's experience is very valuable and I tried looking for videos like this, but I never found it. I found this one girl who talked about um, her experience at Microsoft, and it was like a 28 minute video, I think, or something like that. And, you know, I would love to make various videos about this, about covering how to get in, um, what it felt like. I can even share a clip of me right before the interviews. 
So, I mean, it's a whole story. So I would love to be sharing that experience and story with you. But please, please, please let me know if there's anything I can do for you guys. Um, I really love making and informing people about certain things. So this is my way of kind of saying, hey, this is something cool. This is something you can definitely maximize and get into as well. I'm not special in any sort of way. I just feel like each one of us has potential that is unlimited. So if you have your eyes set on this, you can definitely get in. And that is on engineering, all right? Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, the sunlight is bothering me and I can't really see the screen, so <sighs> I hope everything is in focus. But until I see you again, stay safe and as always, stay cool.